We're here today evaluating some layered cakes at the Minnesota State Fair. And with us, we have a judge who is doing some evaluation. And we're here to get some helpful tips and tricks for anyone interested in being a part of this category. Right now, she's cutting in, and they're actually going to start evaluating one of our cake pieces here. So we're getting to see firsthand just what goes into it. So you said you've been here for while she's cutting for 40, 40 years? 44. And what's been your greatest experience as a clerk, a part of this project? It's just always interesting. Every year is different, and some people are very creative. So it's just been fun to be a part of. That's exciting. So what kind of layered cake do we have here going right now? Um, it looks like a brown sugar or maybe with bananas. It's, okay. it's, sometimes I can't tell till I eat it. Okay. This, this one, um, oh, it does say on the tag that it is a banana layer cake. And so we have judging criteria that we go by. We go by appearance on the outside. We go by how it looks on the inside and then flavor and aroma and the color and how it's decorated. You can see like this cake really has quite elaborate decorations. This one is nice looking, but it isn't as elaborate. So um, it all sort of combines together to, to give the prize winning cake. And of course it has to taste good, doesn't it, Faye? Yeah. And how long have you been judging? Oh, maybe 16, 17 years. Oh. So what would be some big advice, big first-timer tips that you would give to someone? Um, follow your recipe exactly, I, I guess, unless you were sure of how you were making something. I would not create a recipe in this category. You can use a recipe that you get from a book or something and use quality ingredients. Make sure your nuts are not rancid. If we've We've had some times where some, there's some rancid nuts in a product, and so that would take detract from the fa flavor. And um, just follow the directions. Uh, these have to come in and uh, be eight or nine inches, or, and uh, it, it we ask requested them to come in in a box. Some, recipe, some categories require a recipe, so you have to have the recipe to enter. So that would be my advice, to follow the directions. If you have questions, you can always call or look further on the website. Awesome. Well, we'll just kind of sit in here while you go through your process. We kind of want to give exhibitors a helpful tip for what you guys go through so they can see what's going on behind the scenes here. Okay. So one of the things I'll look at is the texture of the cake. And so this layer looks a little bit more dense than this layer. So it maybe this layer wasn't baked as long. Um, and so we'll, we'll, when I cut into it, I'll check and see on that. This part is awfully tough and it feels sort of um, wet, so maybe it was not baked as long. Then, of course, we have to taste something. It has a strong banana flavor, which is good, so you know what it is. It's always helpful to know what you're biting into here. It very much is, isn't it, Faye? <laughs> when we judge candy and we found that out. I would say this layer is a little bit moist that it was underdone. So what would you be, uh, give some advice to someone who um, is questioning whether their cake is dense or too moist? Do you have certain advice for cooking times? Um, I would follow the recipe, but maybe their oven might be baking differently in different parts of the oven. Like sometimes the uh, back of the oven bakes faster than the front. And Make sure you place it exactly in the oven, you know, maybe in the middle rather than on the lower rack. Sometimes the higher rack gets the top brown but doesn't bake the internal part. So make sure you're, where you place it in the oven is exact too. And on three layers, you don't want this possible to have the sides touching of the pans. You want the oven air to circulate fully around each layer. So now that you've tasted a cake, what goes into the scoring process? What kind of judging cards are you guys given to evaluate off of? He has a scoring card she'll show you here. Appearance and color. 30 points for appearance and color. Texture is 35, including internal appearance. And then flavor and aroma is 35. So all of these are kind of weighed out evenly? Yes, it is. It, so it's... Um, it's a total cake. It isn't like I'm judging the frosting separate from the rest of the cake. It's all combined. 